We're talking about a product, but we're talking about um, the environment at the same time. And industry and business, leaders in so many different ways galvanizing this amazing vision into action. And you're all a part of it. For Case to be the first ones to introduce uh, electric backhoe, we're the first ones to introduce a backhoe period. So it, it kind of goes with the history of the company here. What it's turned out to be is uh, way more, to use a buzzword, synergistic in a way, between all three companies, Mogan and CNH in general, because it's a new relationship, it's building, it's exciting, uh, and they, uh, they have a lot to offer. Green Machine's been in the business for converting construction equipment to electric vehicles for some time now. We strive to provide a machine that performs better than the diesel counterpart. When the machine is already the best in the industry, putting technology on it that improves that is just, you know, it's, it's industry leading. We say our vision is we want to make impossible possible. What we really like to be our technology company. We really try, want to have our challenges and, and really change the world. Trying to provide a product that helps you to benefit on your, in your business, but also providing a product to help the economy and the environment all together at the same time. So a loader backhoe, uh, is a very versatile machine, but it's also a machine that does not have an extensive amount of runtime. Because of that, it makes it very ideal for electrification. We've also sized this vehicle to have enough battery capacity to last for an entire working day. But when we look at the customers that are using backhoe loaders, most of the customers, they say they're operating the backhoe for eight hours a day, but in reality what that means is that diesel engine maybe runs four or six hours, it has a couple hours of idle time, there's times where the, uh, the operator's waiting on somebody outside the vehicle to uh, fix in the trench, make a pipe connection. And this equates to a lot of wasted fuel, wasted diesel engine time. When you let off of the, of the throttle or the accelerator, there's no energy use, right? With the diesel engine, when you let off, that engine still runs. It still turns a torque converter, it still turns a pump. It's still, all that energy is just kind of going into nowhere. With electrification, the minute you stop a function, there's no energy loss. When you think about our business, you know we're we're in the energy delivery business, and uh, so I, I liken it that you know there's there's producers and then there's consumers, and we're in the middle trying to make sure we deliver that energy solution. Uh, you know, and today there's a mixture of those different types of solutions, and some of them are cleaner than others. You know, we we look at the sustainable energy model, and we know that we have to do something to help reduce our carbon footprint. And what we're striving to do is, is to help influence and make that happen. And we think we, you know, we touch many, many customers, so we have a great opportunity to do that. There's a significant safety benefit when we talk about the reduction in uh, noise, noise on the job site, the ability to, for crews to be able to communicate clearly uh, on a job site is huge from a safety perspective and, and safety from a community perspective. Uh, communication with community members and pedestrians and such um, in a low noise environment and uh, just the, the comfort of uh, low noise in the community as well for our customers is, is a huge improvement. And if we don't begin doing things to take care of our environment in a better way, then we're headed down the wrong path. This machine works on that in, in a major way and continues to allow the economy to grow and people have opportunities to work and construction to continue. So it, it's like a win-win, win-win. And there's no doubt that with all of your leadership, with all of your vision and your support, the best is yet to come.